Hello bats and welcome to my channel. My name is Opal Wild. If you're new here, hi, thanks for coming. <laughs> and uh, if you are a returning bat, thank you so much. It really does mean a lot that you have come back. So today is a bit of a weird one. I'm boiling hot, so I'm in my conservatory. Um, our flat is very strange. I'll do a flat tour if you guys like at one point. Um, but it's very hot. So I'm in linen because linen is nice and cool. This is not my um, preferred aesthetic, let's say like that, um, but it was like four pounds a little when I was in there for something else, um, and I thought, fine, I don't care. Like, I don't have to wear black all the time and only listen to Sisters of Mercy to be a goth, okay? It's fine. Um, don't take yourself too seriously, I think. I think that's important. So I'm sat here, I'm eating some strawberries because strawberries are now in season in the UK, which is great because normally we have to import them and air miles aside, um, they're just not very nice when they're imported green that all the flavour's gone. So anyway, this isn't what the video is about. It's not about linen dresses and strawberries. Maybe it should be. Um, but today I am going to Zap Laser Studio in central Bristol to inquire about removing some of these. I know, right? I know. Um, so I do acting, I do a lot of background work as well, and they're holding me back, basically. Um, I used to be a body piercer, so I've got loads of tattoos. I've got them on my head. I don't even know if you can see. Probably not. No, you can't see that. I've got them either side of my head. I've got them on my ears. I've got a massive one on my leg. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it. Hold on. Whoop. Massive one on my leg right there. I mean, I'm not lasering that off because, oh my god, that would be horrendous. And I like it as well. Um, I quite like these, but these are the ones that tend to get covered up by makeup uh, when I'm on set. Let me just do it better. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, yes, so I'm going to go have a patch test, I think it is. How they can patch test that, I don't know. I assume they just do a little tiny bit of like on a sort of, I don't know, like a bit of tattoo? I don't even know. Well, we'll see. I'm going to ask them if I'm allowed to film, but I doubt it because people get strange about stuff like that. But if we can, I will take you along to the studio. And if not, I'll chat about it later. So uh, let's go, shall we? Oh, scary. <laughs> okay, guys, so we're in the car. I'm just about to uh, leave. It's about 30 degrees in the car. Uh, let's see if they let me film in there, shall we? Okay, so we are outside of the laser removal place. There it is, over there. Um, yeah, I'm feeling a bit apprehensive, but I'm, I can't even speak, can I? I'm feeling a bit apprehensive, but I think it'll be fine. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes, and I'll update you afterwards. Okay guys, so I am back from my laser consultation, if you like, laser tattoo removal consultation. It went fine, um, the people were really nice, which always helps I think. The studio was really nice and clean, I think it's quite new, I think they've only been open a little while, um, or rather had been pre-lockdown. So uh, yeah, I got, where are we, here we are, oh, you can't even see it, <laughs> it's on this side of my arm, hold on. There you go, you can just about see. I got a tiny little patch here done. Um, I've got to leave the bandage on for a while. They put some uh, a panther on it and then a bandage over the top. So you leave that on for a bit and then you take it off later on. Um, I actually managed to film some of it as well. So I'm going to let you go watch that right now and then I will come back to you. Okay, so we're about to get the test thing done, guys. I'll let you know what it's like, I'm sure it'll be fine. So I've somehow accidentally tanned, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a little bit on the inside of the arm, where I haven't tanned. That's not very good for me, is it? But you know. Okay, let's go. Honestly, I always, I always say, oh, you know, dirty, and the people are like, oh, it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. It's just like the first bit, isn't it, before you know what it's gonna be like. Yeah. Cool, exactly. is my arm okay like that there? Yeah, that's yeah. absolutely fine. You comfortable? Yeah, yeah, it's fine, lovely. Okay, so we're going to do a bit of pre-cooling, getting the skin nice and cold before the shots. 
I'll let you know when we're gonna do it. Okay. okay. Down. Oh no, I'm alright. It's just unknown, isn't it? Yeah, it is unknown. <laughs> Bad. It's just burny. Yeah, it's a bit of a sting. <laughs> I think the cold stuff probably really helps actually. It does. You, you can tell when it goes on that it kind of feels like it's heating up and then yeah. Yeah, it does really help. Takes the edge off it a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> it does just feel like a like a burn almost. Yeah, like it's like this, this is the frosting that comes up sure. on top of the skin, just the chemical reaction between the laser and the ink. Okay. And that will kind of die down now within about 15 minutes, the ink will start to come back through again. Of course. And that yeah. frosting will die down. Yeah, within about six weeks from now, you should actually see that ink starting to break down. Okay. And fade a little bit. Okay. Brilliant, thank you. Some pots of pantalon and then drops in on top. Brilliant, thank you very much. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed watching that. Um, it wasn't too bad, really. It felt a bit like uh, when you are cooking and a bit of like fat spits onto your arm. It was like that, but it was so fast. And they used the like cooling air thing. I don't know, <laughs> whatever it's called. Like basically, it looked like the end of a Hoover, but blowing the other way with cold air. That's what it looked like. Um, so they used that on the skin first, then they did the laser, then they did it on the skin afterwards, and it was fine, to be honest. I mean, obviously they only did a tiny, tiny, tiny area, um, but yeah, it was fine. So the person I had the consultation with was really, really nice, um, which does help, I think, as I said earlier, it helps if the people are nice. Um, they explained everything sort of really well. I have a nice price list here with things circled. Um, I think we're gonna go for the six treatments. Uh, you can buy it in like if you buy it in bulk, then it's a bit cheaper. I think. Uh, what do I get? Yeah, you get like a discount depending on how many treatments you like get essentially. And they do it as a kind of overall area. So if you need like a, a small area or a large area, that kind of thing, rather than per tattoo, which makes sense, doesn't it? Um, so I'm looking to get all of my finger tattoos gone and my arms up till here basically because I can cover these ones up a bit easier um, maybe eventually I'll get around to getting rid of these ones as well excuse me my phone's going off um, yeah but it was fine it was honestly fine um, yeah if you're thinking about getting it done then obviously I don't know what the results are going to be like yet but just from a pain perspective it was fine Obviously, it's going to be a little bit worse when I get more done, but it was really quick as well. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, they went through all of tattoo removal stuff with me. I didn't want to record all of that, though, because I thought a lot of you will already kind of know. If you have got any questions, then I can answer them, obviously. Um, but they were really good, really professional. And, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take you guys along with me when I go to get more removed, if you like. I mean, if that's something you want to see. Then let me know, let me know, let me know. I can't speak, I promise. Let me know in the comments down below and uh, I'll do that for you guys. But yeah, it's too hot in this conservatory so I'm gonna go now, but I hope you're all well guys. Take care and I will speak to you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>